Because you need to understand, people of God, there is pale upon spell. You don't need it, but you have to buy it. And in the midst of everything, you find the spell from the store that they put in the midst for you to come back and keep buying. Then you take home spell of what you buy because people trap of spirit that they may you know, be upon them. Especially the ones them that die. The ones them that die, my God Almighty, you need to understand what happened right there. For those that die, my God Almighty, that spell, my God Almighty, leave that body. Come on, talk to me. And they leave that spell, leave that body. That best spell is looking for somebody to land on. So it land in the midst of whatever they wear, whatever they have. And you find my God Almighty, hallelujah. It can also happen that my God Almighty some people whenever they die they cling to whatever they have. Come on, talk to me. Yes, yes. Oh my God. Yes. They know what they own because especially if they have a spirit that you know you know some people they worship what they have worship their clothes right. true. you find sometimes a person might even have my god almighty a certain piece of clothes or, or some of their clothes you will, you will even ask them, wait, you don't have anything else to wear. Why you just keep wearing these same clothes over and over? So you find in the midst right there, they, they cling to those clothes. And when they die, the spirit is looking for these type of clothes. Come on, talk to me. And wherever these clothes lie, they will try their best to find them. Come on, talk to me. And if they are not in the midst of where they always be, they will search and search to find it. Come on, talk to me. Because it is something that used to be in the spirit, and the spirit is not Magalamite settled are resting so that spirit keep hunting and looking and want what they have you can bury the listen to this you can bury a person and this is where i'm getting very deep say i'm getting deep say this message is getting deep some of you, some of you, when when God said, speak some, I don't know why you always do it. I said, I said, this message is getting very deep. You find people of God with the person that die. You can bury somebody into white. Or you bury them into black. But when you see the person appear in your dream or whatever, you see them appear in a different set of clothes. Yes. Yes. Talk about it and tell ask yourself where they get these different clothes from. Is what they use is what they use to what they have. They transform themselves into it. So they show up into the dream into a different set of clothes that you know they were buried in. Because they are spirit. And you will find my God, let me 
said this to you. People like those, my God Almighty, most of the time, let me say this to you all. You will find, my God Almighty, some of them, my God Almighty, always doing their ritual. Come on, talk to me. I'm talking about witchcraft. Obia, name it. And when they die, they want to operate doing the same thing. So they, they still have that power because it comes from who? Satan. As a demon, they still have that power. Hold on to what I said. I'm going to pray for in the name of Jesus Christ. God Almighty, as my nephew, Lord God Almighty, go through this house. Go through my God Almighty, leave from this house to go to school. I ask you to cover him under the blood right now. I bind up every spirit, every force, every darkness. That would want to be in the midst of him. Take him, oh my God Almighty, safely. And bring him, bring him in back safely, Lord God Almighty. Let not the enemy, my God Almighty, prevail over him. But Lord God Almighty, I pray that the Spirit of the Lord Jesus Christ will cover him. Cover Lord God Almighty, Minister Gay. Cover everyone on this empowerment line that have to travel from their home, wherever. Even if they have to be home and have to go on the road. Cover them with the blood of Jesus Christ. From every forces, from every darkness, from every spirit that is not of the Lord Jesus Christ. Cover the children, them. cover the bus driver, cover the buses, cover the every transportation in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost, fire, blood and water take over in Jesus name. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So you need to understand people of God. Hallelujah. Joshua. Jesus. You need to understand people of God. Hmm. These kind of things, my God Almighty, happened for real and many people would say how could this be let me say something to you all I'm going to say something to you all to tip up your spirit amen in the book Mark Almighty of Kings where they talk about Elijah Elisha the word of God said when Elijah die and they bury him his grave was open up and there was my God Almighty a man that they take to the grave take to the burying ground to bury and it happened that that man, my God Almighty, body happened to fall out in the grave of Elisha. When he fall in that grave, my God Almighty, what happened? The dead body becomes alive again. Why? Because the power of Elisha bring him back alive. Come on, people. Reason for me to say this. Is Margaret Mary just to get your spirit man standing in the room and to understand what God is saying? Satan always wants to copy what God is doing. So when I speak about spirit that my God Almighty transfer from the dead when somebody die, things that they used to do. They will have the same spell in their spirit man walking around looking my God Almighty to do some destruction. That is the reason why people like these you find people that are wicked will use. Because my God Almighty their spirit man people of God is still lying around looking for wickedness to, be, to happen. God do something Satan try to do something as well but still that he cannot match up to God he cannot match up to God so what I'm saying is that people of God 
the person that die that used to perform wickedness if that person don't be settled by the power of God or sometimes you will find even the very people them that know them they will go to their grave and do things to have them to settle and not to come back or they will have them to lose doing wickedness their spirit I wonder if anybody gets what the Holy Spirit is saying Amen Amen <laughs> So what I'm trying to say, people of God, whether you buy the things new or used, you need power fire prior to take off every robo kotoria baba shatara bakondo robo sende spell. You find my God Almighty, let's touch down on our children because this is very important. What about my God Almighty, as the Holy Ghost said before you go to children? Talk about a pregnant mother. A woman that is pregnant, my God Almighty. And in the midst of her pregnancy, she go in and she buy stuff that my God Almighty has been used already. She did not pray over that thing. She did not do nothing like that. To find my God Almighty, she could, buy, she could she probably buy pregnant clothes. What about the person that were wearing that pregnant clothes before and was pregnant and lost her baby? Come on, talk to me. The mother might not lose her baby in pregnancy, but that child can, my God Almighty, grow up, can, can, can be in the belly of that mother facing difficulty. Come on, talk to me. Especially, listen to this, especially if the person that was pregnant before wearing that clothes were dab um, dipping and dabbling in wickedness. What do you think happened, my God Almighty, to the other pregnant mother? You find this spell, this spell. And all these things are spell, people of God. All these things are spell. You find my God Almighty. The mother can't buy that clothes. She did not pray over it. Whatever my God Almighty difficulty that that pregnant mother passed through the other pregnant mother can be passing through it because what the spirit the spell is in the things the sweat come on people the sweat people might be saying oh nothing don't go like that they better get a rain check I said many times when some, 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 some people acting and behave in some way. They don't even know why. Come on, people. I said many times when some people acting and behave in some way. You have my God Almighty, a very child. And you know, my God Almighty, that your child always be quiet and all right. All of a sudden, your child start to act up and behave in a way. Why you think? Let me say this to you. It don't have to be that somebody witchcraft you and that that is what many people don't get in their spirit. It's not everybody have been witchcraft or obia. Sometimes it's a spell from other people things. That reach to you, reach to whoever. Because my God Almighty, these children are because you find children are children and they are small and they are very innocent. Name it and what of you? What about my God Almighty? Troublesome children that are rebellious.
rebellious, have no behavior, have no manners. You go there and you take these things, and you, my God Almighty, you didn't wash them, you didn't pray over them, you didn't do nothing, and you just take it and give to your very own children. You find your child start to act up. You find your child start to behave some way. Let me say this to your people of God. There's so much things to talk about. I pray the Lord will be able to have me to talk as much as many. The most important stuff. You find my God Almighty. Children have a way, my God Almighty, they want toys. I don't know why parents want to buy these funny, ugly looking toys for their children. Come on, talk to me. Is there anyone that can talk up to me? Yes, that's true, that's true. Amen. They go out and they purchase these ugly looking demon forces. Robo Kotoria Bakanda Yamama Makunde Bebefe. Robo Shamako. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ, you are Lord, you are God, and you are King. You need to understand, people of God, because these demons are looking for somewhere to lodge. They are looking for a body or a home to lodge in. You buy these things, you can buy it new, you can buy it old. I'm very sorry, it doesn't matter. And you take it, my God Almighty, your gift to your child. I remember my God Almighty, one of the time, our dear sister Sarita that used to come on the line. I can't talk this. Her little son, um, Amir, she bought a toy gift this little boy. I don't know if she bought it new or old. Most likely she might buy it new. I'm just saying. And this little boy, he stick to this toy. And one day he could not find the toy. And he cried. He cried. He was so upset not finding that toy. And she called me. And she said to me, I don't know what is going on, but there's a toy that he have. And he... He don't want to play with no other toy but that toy. And now he cannot find the toy and he's pining over the toy. He's crying over the toy. And then, and I start to pray. And I come to realize that the toy has been possessed with demon. I told her whenever she find it, she need to get rid of it. Don't let him even see it. Don't let him have anything to do with it. Because I rise up to say, people of God, with many of these things, if you don't have the power of God, you can't even pray over it and nothing happen because it is possessed. I'm talking about when something is possessed. Not just spell. We talk about spell when we are talking about possessed things. Things that are possessed. Things that these wicked people put spirit in. And it's loose going from one home to the other. Did not set just for somebody special. But whoever stick to it. That spirit is going to transfer even into their body. My God, yes. My God, yes. And I believe the mother, when she find it, she, she get, a, get rid of it. But in the midst, my God Almighty, of everything, there were stuff that was happening, which I, not, I have no control over, because the enemy stepped in, so I could not do anything much. Because this is one thing with me, people of God. The people that come on the line, everyone that you see come on the empowerment line, even people that are, my God Almighty, are members of this church and line. I don't play. I have no time to sit down and count money. I have no time to sit down and pile over material stuff, over shoes and clothes and this and that and name it and one of you. What I take time out in mostly, it doesn't matter what I'm doing. I'm praying for God's people.
people because I want my God Almighty to stay in the realm and watch over every one of my people them because of the enemy cannot get me they will try to come to you all and the grace that God put upon my life must cover everyone I believe in that that is the reason why people on this line can tell you when they will be at their house and I will call them and say let me pray with you and something can be going on and the Holy Ghost detect it and I my God Almighty power of God inject it and I open up my mouth and my word the Holy Ghost my God utter and I holler back to sender in Jesus name I don't play my God Almighty I don't play I don't play because I know there's a saying back home they used to say my God you cannot catch Quarky you can get his shot it means if you can't get the person you will get my God Almighty whoever belong to the person that's what it means when I said shirt, shirt, I mean shirt. But they just say it in a way. It's a slam. It's a slam way of saying it. They can't get quirky, mean you can't get my God Almighty. This woman of God, they will try to get my spiritual children. But by fire, by power, I have everyone named before me. And I sleep with them right on my bed. <laughs> When I open up my eyes and start to pray, I pray for everybody. When the line is closed down and I'm laying before God, I'm praying for everybody. I'm looking in the room, I'm watching, I'm seeing in their surrounding because I know spirit are loose to do bad things. That's what God called me to do. He called me to pray for his people so I don't play. I, I love my Lord and I want to please him so I have to do whatever he give, whatever assignment he gives to me that's my number one thing people when you see me you see prior that's my number one thing and that's the best thing that ever happened to my life when I got saved 2003 March the 13th and after the Holy Spirit come in and deal with me for so my God Almighty for probably about two to three hours after everything my God Almighty I took up the phone when I get a little release and I called my God Almighty a sister of mine and I said I have just given my life to the Lord Jesus Christ and you know what we can do we can, my God Almighty, come together in prayer and bring down the plan of Satan. That is the first conversation come out of my mouth. Prayer. Prayer! And that's what we are talking about, people of God. If I don't do anything, that is the reason why people need to understand that come on this line. You're not going to find me come prophesying and telling you this and telling you that. I need to pray the crosses of your life first. The destruction on the crosses need to go first so that whatever God gives you, you can able to manage it. That is the reason why my God Almighty in every message there is prayer. Every message there is prayer. People look at me. Uh, oh, why she pray so much? Oh, why she do this? People of God, if God said I'm depressed, one hour, two hours, three hours, four hours, five hours, six hours, seven hours, ask the people them they can tell you on this line. I will pray until I, I just want to just lay down and have no strength in my body. That's me. That's me. But what I'm trying to say, people of God, there are many spells, and there are many spells up and spell, and there are many wild water forces of darkness. In the midst, my God Almighty, of many things that you purchase, you purchase a lot of things, and you don't know what you're bringing your home. Oh, listen to this now. People talking about, I 
I'm not going in this store and I'm not buying no second hand clothes and I'm not this and I'm not that. So why you buy second hand furniture? You don't think the furniture and the clothes is, is, is actually the same thing? You might be surprised to know it doesn't matter what you buy. If you go to buy my God Almighty a bangle, if you go to buy a piece of jewelry, many jewelry you see in the store, they are second hand. People wear them already. Especially gold and silver. Come on, talk to me. Especially costume things. Come on, people. They have been, my God Almighty, weird already. You might think you buy something new, you make a sad mistake. And the people at the store, all they do is clean it up and bag it. Put it in a new bag and fix it up nice. And there you go. But the spell is there. Let me say something, my God Almighty. As I was speaking earlier about the children, them people of God. We need to pray over everything, my God Almighty, that we purchase at the store. Whether it is new or old. Because the, the, the ones them that are new have, have spell on them. The ones them that are that, that you that wear already, they have spell and they have sweat and they have spirit following them. Come on, talk to me. Demons. Not everything, not everything. Some. Some people of God, some things. Some things have what my God, and every my God Almighty clothes that you buy that somebody wear already, they sw the sweat from that person follow it. It could be sickness, it could be my God Almighty wickedness. Come on, talk to me. The sweat is in it, the spell is in it. With the pregnant mother, you need to understand. There can be spell that transform in the belly of the mother. Come on, people. And disrupt that newborn baby. You ever ask yourself, my God Almighty, in the midst of your family, you find my God Almighty, you have my God Almighty. Your family, in the midst of your, I, I feel forces in the midst of my God are so wrong. Me, I feel, Yo, mama, sha, mama, ma, Fire! He for the wicked. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Robo kotoria, baba, ma, kotoria, baba, kende. Hira, baba, she, na, 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 konde. Fire, fire, fire. Fire! Whatever force is, whatever demon, whatever lodge in the midst, Marco Seteria can die. Fire! Marco Seteria can do the book in the. I send fire in the midst of the surrounding right now. Fire! Marco Satan, Mama Makende, to bring down every plan of Satan. In G. Yibibio, Shataya, Mama Makunde. You see, when you when you step into the world, to the realm of the wicked, them they don't like it, but they cannot stop me because Holy Ghost is doing it. Robo she na 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 kunde. Be not afraid, your heart are covered in Jesus' name. You see what happened when you touch into things that they are doing to mess up God's people that don't like it. The gates of hell shall not prevail in Jesus' name. That we can all drag on Satan. Fire for you, Satan. Fire for you and your adversaries, them. Fire for you and your agents, them. Fire for you and your power. Fire in Jesus' name. Scatter, scatter. In Jesus' name. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. 
Raba Kotoria Bashende, Mama Mashata Mama Konde. Glory be to God, hallelujah. That's why I tell you all to pray. Play the prayer in your own because whether the Michael Almighty, they, 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 listen to me, they will not just they will not come up come at you so easily. You know? They will try to destroy me first. So don't worry yourself. As long as I'm living for the Lord Jesus Christ in righteousness and truth and in truth, they cannot do me nothing. I'm not leaving no door open for them to come in. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. This will help God's people. This is going to help many. The enemy don't like it. He see that his kingdom has been fallen. So he's fighting. Rabba Kotoria Baba Kende. Glory be to God, hallelujah. So what I was saying, people of God, with the children, be careful what you're buying for them, whatever toys you're buying for your children, them name it and one of you. All these chalky looking thing and these demon looking thing, cabbage patch looking dolly and all. You see even doll? I would advise parents to stop by doll give their children. Stop it! These things can be possessed with demon very easily. Very, very easily. And many people don't get it or understand it. Demon can transform in these things. Easily. Teddy bears, name it people of God. All these cat, um, stuffed toys and name it, name it, name it. Be careful of them. If possible, don't keep them in your surrounding if you don't have to. Don't use them. And you know the Holy Spirit is something else. My little nephew the other day happened to, he was here with me. And he happened to go on the computer. And he was watching my God Almighty some children play in with a thing that they call, if you all can catch me up, they call it the, the Gigi board. What is called, people? Come on, help me catch it. The Ouija board. The Ouija. Thank you, thank you. I don't know about these things, so I call it whatever. Thank you, Ouija board. And while they, one of the, one, one of them, one of them, he was showing. He said, he said, Auntie, look at this. And when he was showing it, people of God, there was a a teddy bear on top of 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 like a, a counter of a uh, um a dresser somewhere like that. And one of the books stand. And they were there playing with the board. And while they were there playing with it, the demon, my God Almighty, go into the teddy bear. Come on, talk to me. And when the demon go into the teddy bear, they were there playing and they hear a sound, they hear something drop and the demon stop, the teddy bear stop and, you know, pose the way it is. So when they look up and they're still there doing whatever they're doing, all of a sudden, my God Almighty, they hear a shaking. When the three of them stand up and look, the teddy bears start to move and carry on. So they start to run out of the house. And the demon grab one of them and, and, and get inside of that person. You see what I'm telling the people of God? These things can attract demon. Demon can go in them. You understand what I'm saying, people? Yes. If you don't have to have it, you don't keep it. If you don't, especially people putting these things in children's room. Oh, Lord, 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 Lord. And the little children, them cannot pray. They don't know to do nothing. Come on, talk to me. If you don't have to have it, you don't use it. Come on, talk to me, people. 
I said if you don't have to have it, don't use it. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So what I was saying, people of God, these things can be very, very dangerous. I wonder if you get what I'm saying. And many people don't get it and understand it. So in the midst of everything, while you are daring, doing whatever, you take on to these things. You go in the store, you purchase, you buy, name it. And you don't know, my God Almighty, what you take up, take up on yourself. You need to understand, people of God. It takes power prior to get rid of this spell. Pray over them. If you don't have, my God Almighty, even a power prior fire life. You are living for the Lord Jesus Christ in spirit and in truth. God will hear and answer your prayer. I wonder if you hear what I'm saying. Pray over everything. Everything. Choose clothes. Name it. It doesn't matter people of God whether it is new or old. The very perfume you might buy some of these perfume my god almighty they are, they are what what you think they are doing putting dead man bones in it come on talk to me you don't know what you're purchasing you don't know what you're buying you know what don't know what you're getting and I rise up to say to many people my god almighty that are going after these let me say this to you all and I'm not going to call nobody name but if the spirit of God almighty could just speak in your spirit you will understand what I'm talking about some of these people my God almighty that you know are involved in the Illuminati especially these big stars these big my God almighty entertainers name it name it people of God name it I'm not calling nobody name, but why God, you will be able to tap in and understand what God is saying. Because there are many of them out there. I don't know all of them, because I can't tell the laws. I play music, I do this, I do that, I hear it. Come on, talk to me. You need to understand, people of God. Especially, my God Almighty, if it's a person that, my God Almighty, many people are going after. And you see, they have their, 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 their perfume, their lotion, their this, their that, name it, and people of, people of God. I am very sorry, I don't want their stuff. I don't know about nobody, and I'm not telling people not to. People need to understand what God is saying. Because these people have their spelling, their stuff to get you. And knowing that they are worshipping Satan, they're not going to have things that is going to be so natural. They're going to have things that Michael Almighty have all kind of spelling them to get you. So you need to get and understand people of God. You have to Michael Almighty pray. Pray the spell away. Or if you don't have to have it, don't keep it, don't use it. No. One of you all get what I'm saying, people of God. These things are very serious. You need prayer over everything that you purchase. The very food that you buy in the store. Nowadays, people are doing so many wicked things. They're killing dogs, they 
killing cats. They're catching all kind of animals. And you don't know, my God Almighty, what you are eating. Come on, talk to me. You don't know what you are eating. Some of them, my God Almighty, they are spraying stuff on meats and all these things to preserve them. You don't know what you are eating. In the store, my God Almighty, the other day I was I, I heard from somebody. They said there was a meat in the store, and they were when they checked this meat, they were looking at it. They said, This meat, my God Almighty, they don't know where it come from. You need to understand they will even, my God Almighty, cut up human body if they can to sell it. People are wicked. You need to pray over everything. You need to pray, people of God. The Holy Spirit of God take me completely off everything. The only thing I, I, I eat now is just vegetables and beans. Everything, nothing else. He said to me, that's how I want you to be. And for whatever my God and my, listen to me. Even the very vitamin and whatever you're eating, whether it is powder or name it or the pill and so forth, you have to pray. And you have to discern them because you don't know what they are selling these last days. People are wicked. Everybody just get quiet. What happened? You all catch afraid? People of God, you need to get and understand. The very fruit, my God Almighty, that you're buying. The other day, my God Almighty, I get to understand that there was a man in this store. And they saw this man spraying, my God Almighty, the apples them. When they look, the man is spraying the apple them into red apples, spraying stuff on them. They catch him doing it. Somebody catch the man spraying on the apples. Trying to turn them in certain colors. They, they, they are, they, I heard that the store is called, the, 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 the company is calling in back spinach. Come on, talk to me, spinach. I don't know if you all hear what I'm saying, people of God. My God Almighty. I wonder if you all hear what I'm saying, people. They said this store is calling in back spinach. The pack spinach them. The ones them in the pack. Can you imagine, people of God, the things that is happening? You all have to pray. Some people just want to eat and don't pray. You have people, my God Almighty, they just buy things, they don't care what they are eating. They just take it up and eat it and don't pray over it. As I said, my God Almighty, whether you buy the clothes new or the clothes old, whether you buy the furniture new or old, the very bed, the very mattress, pray over them. And some of you, oh, I'm not going to buy the second hand mattress, I'm going to buy a brand new mattress. Let me give you news. They take the second and one and all they do is just spread new things on the top. It's just like the casket. When you go and purchase.
purchase an expensive cat casket. And when you go and exp uh, buy this expensive casket to bury dead in, what they do? They just trail and look where you bury that dead. And the very same night, they go there and turn the dead out and fix back the, the grave and leave and gone about their business with the casket. But the thing they do to that casket, all they do is just cover it, cover it. That is the reason why they bury people in dead bags. And people don't know that. That is the people why they put it, they put the dead in body bags. Come on, people. So that the dead won't drain in the casket on it. Wickedness in the heart of men. Come on, people. I don't understand why so many people on the line and nobody want to lift the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and I even want to say my God Almighty yes or no or whatever. My God Almighty. Spell people of God. Spell is in the midst of things. So it is for everyone to pray. I'm telling you, people of God, when I put this prayer out there, this prayer is going to be on YouTube. Pray it in your house. Pray along with it. Let it play through the atmosphere and bring down everything. Demons are afraid of my voice. Come on, people. Because my God Almighty, when you can tap into their secret, they will, they are afraid of you. They will, they will want to destroy you. But by fire, by power, none of them are going to destroy me because I'm not going to give them no loophole to do it. Because I am covered by fire, blood, and water. And God called me in such a time like this to pray for his people and to, pray, to tell his people, my God Almighty, what is going on. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It is not for nobody, my God Almighty, to go in this store and get anything. Okay, let's talk about jewelry. You want to talk about jewelry now? In the midst of jewelry, the very bundle, the very bundle, all this jewelry that you're wearing, you need to understand that these things take on sweat. These things, my God Almighty, are attractive to demons at times, especially if you sleep in it. You must not sleep in your jewelry. Come on, people. You wear them, you take them off, you put them one side. Don't sleep in them. Because these things can attract these demons. Many things, my God Almighty, many people don't get and understand. The very here that my God Almighty, many of us, my God Almighty, I, I, I don't wear those things anymore, thank God. But the false ear that many people are wearing, especially the human ear. They cut this ear from the very dead. People that die, they cut their ear and they sell it. Many people don't understand, my God Almighty, the spell that they are taking on. Come on, talk to me. Sometimes you wear these things, you start to have an headache. Come on, people. You find yourself having headache. There's nothing better than your own ear, your very own ear. And to even keep your ear natural. I, my daughter from she, from my daughter, my God Almighty, born until today. She was putting iron arm, iron comb in it. I tell her to stop it. Cause my daughter a beautiful ear. Beautiful long ear. 
Because she mix, mix with India, name it whatever. And my daughter of her ear natural, but she wear these all uh, wear, wear wear the other type of ear. I have to just pray that she start to wear her natural ear. People of God Almighty, many people don't get it and understand what God is saying. And it is something, my God Almighty, for us to get in our spirit because without prayer, we perish. Come on, people. I said without prayer, we perish. And every one of us need prayer. So it is for each and every one to get and understand it doesn't matter what you are purchasing it doesn't matter whether it is new or old you have to pray over it the witches and the warlocks them they need they deal with the new stuff them mostly and they deal the, many of these store people of my god almighty are in their organization so that they can sell to have money so you have to pray over everything so that they will not use this spell to draw your money. Yeah. Buying all these things that you don't need. Why? Because a spell is in the midst pulling your money. Yeah. A lot of things we are using on our body. We don't know that my God Almighty, they, they're grinding dead man bones and all these things and all these stuff. People are wicked, y'all. Come on, people. People are wicked, I said. They are making these pills, medication. I rise up to tell the nation that the nation needed to trust God so that they can be healed, delivered, and set free. Because you take you taking the medication for my Almighty diabetes. All of a sudden, you hear that you have cancer. You taking the medication for my Almighty headache. All of a sudden, here you have diabetes. All kind of things. All these side effects that they are putting in it. Chemicals. Name it. You better trust God so that the power of God can heal you and deliver you and set you free. The power of God will put a spell on you and that spell will be the protection of Jesus Christ. That's the spell you want to have upon your life. You want Jesus more than ever, but you're not supposed to be wanting your medication and can't do without it. The only thing you must not live without is Jesus. My God Almighty. You all need to get and understand, people of God, we are living in a very perilous time, a very dangerous time. A very dangerous time. With my nephew here with me. I know he's a boy child and he, you know, boy child want to play and do their thing and so forth. And he don't really have any company of such and so forth. But there are times when I, he'll be outside and all is well. And there are times I would just go there and say, come pa, come inside. They can't catch Quarky, they will try to catch the shot. They can't catch me, they will try to do you things because you don't, I tell you to, to get in this warrior thing. That's why I change his name, people of God, I call him Joshua. Because I want him to be that warrior. Because whenever I call his name, I just see destruction where that name is concerned, I don't like it. The name Nicolel, I don't like it. It's a makeup name. But when I call him Joshua, I'm calling in a warrior spirit on him. 
for him to come and be a warrior for the Lord Jesus Christ. People of God, we have to pray. You go in the store, you buy ear freshener. You have to pray over it because it might smell good, but you don't know what spell is coming out of that ear freshener. People are wicked. You can spray in spell in your house and you don't know it. Demons start to be attractive. Come visiting you in your house. Come on, talk to me. You don't know. So it is good to pray over everything. True need on YouTube. Prayer is there to cancel, to bring down, to bind, to cramp and paralyze every plan of Satan in Jesus' name. That is the reason why they come to get me all the time, but they cannot do me anything because when they try to touch the Holy Ghost, disrupt and bind them and send them back to the ascender. I was born to pray for God's people. I was born to pray for all of you. I was born to do this. And I'm not into no anky panky, no play house, no dolly house, no dibble and dabble, no tricks and trade and no matches boxing business. I'm not in it. I don't pray for motive. I don't pray to say, if I pray for you, you give me something. It's up to somebody that wants to bless me. I don't pray for money. I don't do things to get money. I pray, my God Almighty, God is my source. I look to him. For whoever he wants to touch, let he touch to bless me. But I don't pray with no motive and no idea. I'm doing it for real, people. Whatever I am doing, I'm doing it for real. Because I want for God's people to be blessed. Many people are going through stuff for years in their life. And if God chose to give them 15 more years, like my God Almighty is our Ezekiah, let them able to catch on to the prayer to extend their life. And I want for the Holy Spirit of God to move over everyone's life. For the Holy Spirit of God to take charge, take over. You see what many people don't understand. I understand the Holy Spirit of God. He have a body, he have eyes, ears, nose, everything. But it's just that he's a spirit. Look like a human, move like a human, but if it is what? A spirit. Come on, people. Can you hear me when I talk? Whatever I tell him, he do it. Because I am working for them. Come on, I'm working for the Lord Jesus Christ. The blood. I'm working for the blood. I'm working for the water. I'm working for the my God Almighty, the Holy Spirit. The Holy Ghost fire, I'm working for them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Come on, people. And I'm under the command of God. Come on, people. Hallelujah. Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So, people of God, as we go along, the Holy Ghost will bring forth more things. On the Michael Almighty YouTube channel, if you tune in, you see, my God Almighty, there's a message that is called Powerful Teaching About My God Almighty Against Demon Organization, all these things. When you tune in and listen to these things, you hear things that you never know that exist, but they are for real. Things to help people, to help God's people. When I said out that my God Almighty prayer and message on YouTube, there's an organization that write me telling me to sign up to them. Fire! In the name of Jesus Christ for them. I don't need their money, they're nothing. No. They send my God Almighty 
community a, a message to me that I must sign up to them because they, they want what they think they want to do. They want to send me money to mash me down. They don't understand that. Whatever money coming to me, God is going to what? Cover it with blood. And it not, not coming from them because I am not money greedy and money craving. I need I only need money to use, but I don't love money. When they send the message to me, what I do, I cancel it back to sender. If you go on it, you will see it. They're telling me to sign up and they put it on every one of the four part of the message that I put on YouTube. Don't know that the gates of hell shall not prevail. As long as the Holy Spirit of God is in the midst. Marco Seteriakanda. Who is having a headache? Who is having a headache on the right side of their forehead? The right side of their forehead. Mama Mabel, I have like a, my ears, my right ears is hurt. I know you said that, but I feel it until yesterday started hurting real bad. And I got a pain on my forehead. Let me pray for you. Let me pray for your Father in the name of Jesus Christ. Rabba Kotori Ababa Kataria Kandarabab Kindi and Derby Kindi Rabba Shataya Mama Makunde. I buy up your headache. I command you to take your flight right now. Pain, infection, whatever your is. Let me ask you a question. You stop taking the pill, Lem? Yes, ma'am. That is what, what happened now. Because you stop taking the pill, then my God Almighty, they, you know, whatever effect they were doing to your body, they were touching, uh, there was one of the pills that you were taking for, you know, your, 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 your head part there. It is, it is like it is requiring whatever. So things are lifting from your body. And you find, my God Almighty, it, it starts to shoot off headache. Because that's the plan of the enemy, to shoot off headaches so that you can go back to do what you were doing. But I bind that up in Jesus' name. Rabba Kotori Abashende. I bind you up. I command you to take your flight. Holy Ghost, fire I loose upon your daughter right now. Upon Mama Mabel. Fire, fire, fire. Fire in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Take her over right now. Blood and water. Holy Spirit of God. Fountain. Holy Spirit. Blood and water. River. That flow in the midst. Take over my God Almighty Mama Mabel right now. Not just Mama Mabel but everyone. Rabba Kotoria Bashia Nananakunde. Everyone that is on this line, take them over right now in Jesus' name. Right now. I come on you to leave. You will not stay. You will not stay. You will not stay. You will not stay. Go back to sender. Back to the pit of hell where you belong. Leave the body in Jesus' name right now. Right now I come on you to leave the body. Right now I come on you to take your flight in Jesus' name. In the mighty precious name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Take over Lord God Almighty. Move in your might and in your power. In the mighty precious name of Jesus Christ. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Rabba Kotoria Bashende. Claim your healing. Take your healing in Jesus name. Let God arise and the enemy scatter in Jesus name. What you want to say? Talking about clothes and shoes and stuff being cursed, but when I bought my things, they were, they were bothering me. But I tried to get rid of a shoe yesterday because I put their shoes in so I was getting a stroke. And I put my bras on and stuff, and my back started, started hurting and stuff. Somebody's been to my house. I knew they did because I could have feel the spirits all by my bed. And that was last month. Rabba Kotoria Bashanda. You hear that, people? I've been at school, and I've been at school, I was like the foster grandparent in the school, and I'm at school, they in my house, dressing my house down. Yeah. I put my bra, every time I had to take my bra off this morning, because I put it on, 
And I look, I start getting tense up again. And I had to take the shoes off. I went for a walk around my love it yesterday. My feet started getting real tight. Like I was coming down with a story. I had to throw the shoe in the trash. People have got to hear that. You hear that? Like, Lord, I about that today. That was just happened to me yesterday. And glory be to God. Hallelujah. Yes, Thank you. Look at God, people. Thank you. Glory, glory, Thank you. God. Look at God. Where is my, where is my... Tears and everything. You did all kind of thing in my apartment. You hear that, people? These spirits will haunt you. They will taunt you. Yes. Glory be to God. And these are people that are operating, doing wicked things. And when they die, they come, my God. You, you buy their stuff at the store. You did not pray. You did not, my God Almighty, do whatever. And if you don't have the power to, my God Almighty, discharge them back to, to where they belong, they're going to come and take a set at you. So right there, you need to understand, my God Almighty, that these things are real. Where is my sister, my God Almighty, Evangelist Denise? Let her tell her story. Yes, ma'am. Evangelist Dennis! I was there, I used to go, I was in um, Walmart, and this time you see, she tried to curse me. I, I felt it when she did it, and I sent it right back on her. Glory be to God, hallelujah. I could felt the stinge of my almighty forces trying to block and stop me. But they can't do me anything in Jesus' name. Rako Satarabakunde. King of the universe, right now, God Almighty. I pray, Lord God Almighty, over every sick on this line right now. Remember, Lord God Almighty, hallelujah, your daughter, mama, Lord God Almighty, cousin. Father God, continue, Lord Jesus Christ, to move upon her body. Continue to take her over, Lord God Almighty. Let not the enemy prevail over her. Let the Holy Ghost blood, my God Almighty, inject in her body, my God Almighty. Cramp and paralyze cancer. Can cramp and paralyze every sickness in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let not the enemy prevail, O God, but let the Spirit of God arise. And the enemy scatter in Jesus' name. Let the enemy scatter in Jesus' name. It is good for you to come on the line early when I'm praying. Come on, try and come on the line early. At least, my God Almighty, 6.30. 6, 6.30, my God Almighty, in those regions. Try and come on the line those times, 6.30 in those times. So that when I'm praying, I can able to tap in and pray for you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Shataya mama, hallelujah! You are Ibaba Shataya mama makunde. You are worthy, Jesus Christ. This prayer is going to help. This message and prayer is going to help many, 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 many. Roko sataraba kunde riyakando robo shende. Is my sister there? Glory be to God, hallelujah. Bless God. Go forth and give your testimony of your experience that you have about the clothes. Okay, um, I went and I bought, um, I bought the clothes at the store. I went and bought the things at the store. I went and bought the things at the store. I um. I bought the blouse, I like the blouse, so I wore, I wore the blouse before. But one night I went, I went to sleep and I dreamt I saw this woman come before me and stand up in her shorts into the same blouse. And I said, oh my God. I said, oh my God. But that is the blouse that I bought. It's, it's not even a regular it's not even a regular blouse like a t-shirt or what. And I said, oh my God. But I got the blouse, that blouse. So why the woman swim? And I get up. I said, but wait. It looks like this is a dead person clothes. Why the woman just come and show me? And show me the arm. Show me her blouse. 
under the blouse and I took the blouse and I threw it away. Mm. Hear that, people? No, I threw it away. I never see me again. Never see my feet again. Glory be to God, hallelujah. People, your people of God, you hear what God is saying. You hear, you hear when the Lord brings something like this. You have heard it. Mama, May, Mama Mabel said, Michael Almighty, the shoes that she put on, she feel as if she, the shoes getting tight on her and she feel it squeezing her and carrying on and name it and what of you. And she trash it. The brazier that she, Michael Almighty, got what the same thing happening. She have to trash it. Come on, people. Come on, people. You see these things, my God Almighty, you have to pray. You have to pray. And I advise each and every one to have this, get the spirit of discernment. Get your life clean up. Repent and turn from unforgiveness, every spirit. And ask the God for, ask the Lord God Almighty to give you the spirit of discernment. I'm going to teach about the spirit of discernment very soon. Very soon I'm going to teach about the spirit of discernment. Because it needed in the body of Christ. Glory be to God, hallelujah. Let us pray. Father, we thank you, we bless you, God, we praise and glorify you. For your goodness and your mercy, oh God, your loving kindness towards us. In the mighty, precious name of Jesus Christ, whatever God Almighty, your people are looking to you for, God Almighty, I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that you will grant it. For many, Lord God Almighty, that are sick and need your healing power, let it reach them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, righteous Father God, there is no other God like you. You are the only true and living God, hallelujah. You are the Savior, the Redeemer. I ask you, Lord God Almighty, to come and take over. Have your divine way, Lord Jesus Christ, for you are God, your Lord, your King. Save your divine ear and answer prayer. Let your spirit, Lord Jesus Christ, move over your people. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And bring down, Lord God Almighty, every plan of the enemy. In the mighty, precious name of Jesus Christ. Let God arise and the enemy scatter in Jesus' name. For you, God Almighty, is the healer. You are the bomber. You are the true physician. You are the great high priest, the great I am. You are God and God alone. And there is no other God like you. So I ask the Lord Jesus Christ to do for your people, God. Only you alone can do it. No other God. No other God can do it, Lord Jesus Christ. So do it, Lord Jesus Christ, for your people. Bring down every plan of Satan in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah.
because only him alone can bring that change in your life.
Lord Jesus Christ. We thank Him. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Thank you, God. As we Amen. Glory to God, hallelujah, amen. Glory 
be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory, 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 glory. I bless the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I glorify my honor him. I thank him for this morning, my God Almighty. Thank him for what he's doing. And even in the midst, my God Almighty, I don't know if his mama bell still getting that headache that is shooting in the midst of the head. Whoever is still getting that headache, I send fire in Jesus' name. Fire. Fire, fire, blood of Jesus Christ, blood of Jesus Christ, blood of Jesus Christ. May the Lord Jesus Christ bless and keep you. May his face continue to shine upon each and every one of you. God bless you all. Remember this woman of God, love you all very much. But the Lord Jesus Christ love you more. Be blessed in Jesus' name. Father.